Good morning and welcome to Unity of Walnut Creek. Today is our Gratitude Sunday. So we are going to be not very much talking about gratitude. We're really going to be expressing our gratitude. And I invite you to join us as we're going through, as we're sharing, as everyone is sharing. Let yourself touch that deep gratitude that you have for the, the people, the blessings, the presence in your life. And join us. We've got beautiful music to lift our spirits and remind us of how exquisite that feeling of gratitude is in our hearts. Thank you for joining us. In this moment, in this place, in the stillness of our open hearts, we have come to share the presence of the God within and to hold the sacred space. In this moment, at this time, when we feel the oneness of all, we have come here to build a sanctuary of love. In this moment, in this place, in this moment, in this place. Good morning and welcome to Unity of Walnut Creek. Please stay seated and join us in singing, I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful for all that I so blessed we are so grateful for all that we have we are so blessed we are so blessed we are so grateful we are so blessed we are so blessed we are so blessed we are so grateful for all that we have, we are so blessed, we are so blessed, we are so grateful, we are so blessed. <laughs> Beth, Rowe and Lisa. Thank you. Yeah. And in that exquisite musical care that we've come to know as fusion. Thank you, guys. Good morning. I'm David MacArthur, and I'm one of the ministers that gets to play in this uh, facility. This, uh, this is the, called the sandbox of happiness sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> It's a darn good. <laughs> and I want to just welcome everyone. And now this, this has become more special to me. Okay, the last two Sundays, I got to sit there and wave back at you all. So join me in waving to our folks online. Hello, great to have you with us. <laughs> and if you're new to our services, we're so glad that you're here with us. And 
we're grateful for that blessing that you bring with your presence and hope that what we do here is a blessing that, that you get to take home. So take that deep breath through your heart. As we enter into this experience we call unity, this positive path of spiritual growth, where we get to touch this amazing universal presence that comes through in, in the scriptures, it comes through in songs from different traditions, and yet it is within each one of us, and we celebrate and nurture that. Now, the real foundation that we share here is the experience of prayer. So to begin our service, I invite you to join me in entering into our opening affirmative prayer. Together, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Breathing in that awareness. And again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Letting that awareness fill us, fill this room, and lift all of consciousness. Once again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. And for the awareness of this presence, we are so grateful. Amen. So we have a different service for you today. So if we get up here, get lost on what is going on, you'll understand. What, uh, what we wanted to do was take today and simply celebrate it as our Gratitude Sunday. So we will be entering into experiencing and sharing that amazing consciousness of appreciation, of gratitude, of that grateful heart together. Now, in... In doing that, uh, we've we've had a gratitude service for a number of uh, number of years now, and it's become a very special part of our experience. And leading that service over many of those years has been Rob Seidenspinner. And Rob, uh, I've asked him to join us, join me here for this service because one of the gifts that Rob brings to our community is that deep understanding of the Native American tradition in which gratitude is central to that experience and always a beautiful consciousness to bring into our, our midst. So, Rob, would you come on up here and sure. join me? Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. <laughs> and yes, I am grateful and I'm grateful for my experience with the Native American community and the way that they walk. Native Americans walk with gratitude all the time, all the time for everything. So the way that they've got to incorporate it into their lives and just make it a part of their lives is something that's really important to me and what I've learned and what I know about gratitude now is, yes, it is, a, it is accompanied by being thankful, but, it, but it's even something deeper. And There's a resonance, there's an emotion, there's a feeling underneath it that we occasionally tap in with gratitude. And that's what we're going to be inviting you all in today to share with us as a community. And that's something we'll be doing a little bit later. But that's just a little bit on gratitude. And one of the wonderful ways to touch this consciousness that is gratitude is through the instrument of prayer and meditation. So we're going to enter into that time. 
So I invite you to take that deep breath through your heart. And as you turn inward, as we all seek to touch that place within our hearts where we really know the gratitude that we hold for, for life, for God, for each other. In that journey to that knowing, I invite you to let the music become an invitation to that center of your heart. I surrender to my greatest, highest good. I release any fear that blocks my way. For every step I take is taken in pure faith. And I am grateful every moment, every day. My mind is willing and my heart is open wide. I trust my So we're going to take a moment and go in here into prayer. Ho Tunkashila Wakantanka, Great Spirit, thank you for our lives today. Thank you for another opportunity to walk upon this Mother Earth. The opportunity to share our gifts and talents, all unique and special along this walk, to learn and to grow together in community. We're so grateful here today for all the prayers that have been shared here over the years. So many prayers have come before us and so many prayers today and those that come after. They're on this land. They've touched this ground. They're in the walls. We acknowledge all those prayers. They're sacred. This sanctuary, this, this sanctuary that we've created here as a community is one that we appreciate and we're so grateful for, Creator, that this sanctuary can be a safe place, a comforting place for those that can come who are in need of being comforted, of being held, that the energy here that surrounds this building, this grounds, can be that service to those folks that may be in pain and need. We're also grateful for the opportunity here to come here and learn and grow, deepen our connection to all of life, to spirit, to you, Creator God. I'm speaking my word today for the children, the young ones, our grandchildren. Let them be warm, let them be fed, let them be well cared for also including the elders, the voice of wisdom, and all of those in our communities that have so much to share. Let them have safety and warmth. Let them be valued and respected. I'm also including today those that may be in harm's way, that may have a need of one kind or another, and I'm asking, Creator God, that you go there in that direction to those people and you touch them from the inside out. Let them know that you are always there, Creator. I'm happy to celebrate today with all of us our challenges, the things that have been difficult for us in our lives and our successes, the things that, where we have stood tall and been grateful all of those together come from that one source. 
They're all included in this experience, in this walk on this Mother Earth. As we step into our participatory experience, as we walk into this ceremony that we're going to do, we're inviting the spirits and the helpers from the different directions. The indwelling spirit from that easterly direction, the visionary, the one that trusts and speaks their truth without blame or judgment. Moving to the south, that southerly direction, the container of love that lives there, the healer that pays attention to what has heart and meaning. We invite that internal energy to join us today. Moving around to the west, the land of the teacher, the teacher who is open to outcome, not attached to it. We invite you here today. Moving upwardly north, that direction of the warrior, the warrior who accompanies it accompanies us in our walk in all of the directions every day. The energy of that warrior is to just show up to life. Just show up. The warrior honors and respects all of life. Acknowledging and knowing our connection to that sacred web we say all our relations here in this web, all of the two-leggeds and the four-leggeds and the winged ones, we include all living things. We're grateful for that, and we know that anything that happens to any part of that web affects us all and touches us all. We acknowledge that, and we're grateful for that. And we also take notice and be careful and act in that knowledge. Thank you, Creator God, for all these blessings and all these opportunities that come to us every day. We know that in your will and in your way, it will be done and expressed in us, as us, and through us. In your holy name, Aho Mado. Mother, Father, God, infinite love, in this time of prayer, we bring to our hearts, to our awareness, those wonderful beings in our lives that we want to say, I am grateful that you are in my life. I am grateful for your being. I am grateful for your being in my life. I invite you to bring to your awareness and let your heart send those words that carry the deep feeling of your gratitude for each one of those persons. Our children and grandchildren our parents. Our spouses and partners and loved ones. I'm grateful for your being. I'm grateful for your being in my life.
as we behold our life. Those that are family and friends. Inspiration and challenge. those that join us in creating. Those that nurture and bless us. Thank you. I am grateful. So we hold these beautiful feelings of gratitude, appreciating each one, thankful for their presence, feeling that gratitude within. It's in that gratitude that we enter into a moment of silence together. following that direction of the Master. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. Father God, gratefulness in us, infinite love, in this moment together, in this place of deep gratitude, we let this this consciousness of gratitude flow out to bless, to uplift. And we begin by being grateful for these amazing instruments that are our physical bodies, and the cells and systems as that divine love calls them into wholeness. Grateful for the thought and wisdom, for the understanding that flows through mind and heart. We are grateful for each one of these dear to us as we send this love carried upon this feeling of gratitude to enfold everyone, to bless each one in our worlds, lifting, guiding, and as gratitude flows out from us across this spiritual community, touching, lifting, healing, blessing, flows to every prayer request brought here. We are grateful for the honor to know with you you are enfolded in divine love and lifted to that which is the highest. in this love it flows from our hearts across the communities as 
we hold that place of gratitude for our neighbors, those we know and those we but catch in a store window or a sidewalk or a car. We're grateful that we here are growing and learning together. And grateful for this nation as we touch it with our gratitude and call forth the very highest within it. And our gratitude flows beyond all boundaries as we behold the beauty of all peoples. We are grateful for the gift that each one brings. And we send this gratitude to everyone who joins us in this experience of prayer, whether in mosque or synagogue, temple or church, whether gathered at home or on the hillsides. For in seeking to know you, we are all one. And this beautiful feeling of gratitude flows forth from our hearts. It blesses this beautiful earth that we call mother. It brings balance and harmony to her systems, blessing to her creatures. And this gratitude the wave of love flows from our hearts about the world. It enfolds the world and touches the heart of every single person in the earth. For beloved presence, you are that love in every heart. And within this love, we are one. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Please join me. Divine, Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. And again. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. And once again. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. I surrender to my greatest, highest good. I release any fear that blocks my way. My mind is willing. 
It is so. Amen.
I think they're grateful. Yeah. All right. So entering into this experience of gratefulness together, one of, one of the things that we're going to invite you to do is to share that which you are grateful for. And so we'll be coming around with microphones, and when we do, I, I, it would be helpful to everyone if, if you could stand and give your name and then share that which you're grateful for. But I want to put this in, in an understanding, that opportunity to acknowledge and express our gratefulness for someone. When, when we feel that, I know it's like a blessing to that person. It, it's that flow of love from us. When we do that and we're with a group of people, that collective awareness focused on that person brings that greater blessing. And that unified power of love flowing through many hearts brings that greater touch to them. So I really invite us all to go to this place of joining as each one shares and letting our blessing join in and touch that one that is being acknowledged as well as that one that is acknowledging the, uh, that wonderful 13th century mystic Meister Eckhart said, if the only prayer you ever spoke was thanksgiving, that would be sufficient. And this is our time of speaking that prayer. I'm just going to open it up. Who wants to join in here? Who wants to be the one that, uh, that open it up for us? I, you've heard plenty from David and I today. Okay, we got it. <laughs> well, Linda and I, for the first time since we got married, did Thanksgiving at Unity this year. And not surprising for me, it was like having my family over for dinner. It wasn't a church gathering, it was literally family. And what I came to realize as we were doing it was it was about more than the food and more than the being together. It was about this whole unity community and how we care for each other. And there's one guy who every single year puts himself out there and puts this dinner together and ramrods it and agonizes over whether there'll be enough food or not and whether volunteers will show up. And so I am personally very grateful to Brother Mike McGarvey for <laughs> making sure that that can happen. You know, you know th thank you for saying that, John. For a minute there, I thought you were talking about you because I know you give in the same way. So thank you for that. <laughs> I'm Barbara Lynch, and I want to thank not just a person, but a lot of people. All of most of you who know me well, and um, people from other places in my life, who act as a channel from spirit, and who sort of poke me on a regular basis <laughs> to bring up something for healing. And that's how I know when somebody says, oh, you're being a little controlling there, or <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, oh well, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> David, we have one over here. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. I'm grateful. Is that working? Yes. I'm grateful for my brother who left us about three weeks ago. I'm even grateful for every single minute that I spent with him, including the ones where his behavior was not enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over here. Massively. I'm also just phenomenally grateful for my really gorgeous mother here who loves me so much and I love her so much and it's just so fun to live with her. And I'm incredibly grateful for my new friend Robbie who came running up to me uh, 
I was thinking of walking, he just ran after me and asked me for my email address and asked me if I lived in the neighborhood. And anyway, we've become such good friends and it's such an incredible, beautiful, beautiful friendship and I'm so grateful to him. Thank you. Your turn. I want to take this opportunity to thank and to express my gratitude for Unity of Walnut Creek. I'm grateful for my family and my friends, and you all know that, but I have never had an opportunity to thank you for making it possible for me to become, through the field licensing program, a Unity minister. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Delu. I don't remember the movie, but there was a movie where basically this guy's world was all black and white. Um, I'm grateful to my wife, Louise, for bringing it into Technicolor. Um, if it wasn't for Louise, I'd probably be behind my computer desk all the time, just black and white. And she's brought so much into my life, which includes coming to Unity. And so as a result of, of this wonderful relationship, I'm grateful to all of you for everything you bring into my life, and I'm grateful to our circle of friends, and I just love you guys. Oh, yeah. Good morning, beautiful children of God. <laughs> <laughs> I come to you as a visitor from Medford, Oregon, <laughs> and uh, I'm here visiting, and I can't stay away from Unity on Sunday morning. My name is Alice Levy. I am 86 years old, and I am grateful and blessed to be here. And I know why I'm here. I'm here as an example that you can do and be what I am at my age. And I thank you all for being part of my family. which I never thought I would survive. I've made wonderful friends, and it's just the highlight of my week, and all the wonderful groups and the classes, and I'm truly grateful. My name is Joanne Keith. I am so grateful that my heart has opened to God this year. I've had so many blessings. And these two people right here are the biggest blessings down from God, but the biggest blessings in my life. Thank you. Mm, so sweet. Yeah. I'm grateful for the, uh, the gratitude assignment that Sheila um, presented two weeks ago, which I've been using dutifully and um, is changing the way I see things and the people in my life, including myself. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. My name is Ken. Today I am very grateful for all the people in my Unity family and all those people in my sphere that helped me to continue to learn and work on being humble. Thank you very much. Attitude of gratitude, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be 95 on Monday. <laughs> and I've been coming here since 1985. And it just fills my heart every Sunday and carries me through the week. Thank you very much. Before we, before we go on, well, well, I've got these two amazing women sitting there. I'm grateful for the two 
of you and the inspiration that you have both been to myself and to this entire community. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mary, and I just feel so blessed to be a prayer minister and to be able to pray with people all throughout the week. It is such a blessing. And very grateful that my family's here from Wisconsin and Minnesota, so we've been sharing some wonderful times together. So God bless you all, and I'm also so grateful to be a part of this community. Thank you. Good morning. Hmm? Go ahead. Good morning, I'm Maddie. Um, I'm grateful because my mom is 96 <laughs> and in very, very good health, and she's been a true inspiration for me. I am grateful for all my friends here at Unity. I'm going on almost 20 years here. That's huge for me. I don't stick around too long anywhere. So. <laughs> And I'm also grateful for my partner, who has brought me a lot of wisdom and love. Thank you. Over here. So, so I'm, I'm going to take a microphone over, over here. But uh, in doing so, just want to acknowledge, Mario, how grateful we are of you, all that you have shown us. Uh, I'm John. I'm John. I think I have the great pleasure of knowing many of you and many of you knowing me. And I, I can't possibly express how grateful I am to each and every one of you, and especially some very special friends. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Deborah. <laughs> and other friends that surround me everywhere here. You raise me up. And you have raised me up from the very depths. And I would not possibly be who I am today without every one of you and what you've done for me. Thank you so much. And I am grateful for all the smiles that I get when I walk any place here at the center, and the hugs, and the love that I feel for all the classes, especially heart math, that has transformed my life, for the abundance class, which is not the theory of everything, but it is the proof of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and for the lessons in the choir that I can now sing more, for all the prayers for my husband as he is healing and traveling through his journey of cancer. Thank you, all of you. God bless. Uh, my name is Carol, and uh, today I'm 75. And uh, that'll, be, <laughs> that'll, be the, that'll be my last birthday because I came out here from Colorado to be in hospice and stay in my... Uh, children's home in Orinda and be with them for the end and for whatever's going to come. And I'm, I have been here for about five months enjoying the silence and meditation and the teachings very much and uh, I haven't had the energy to really become involved or know any of you but it's been a great blessing and I just um, want to reassure you that uh, I've been studying and reading spiritual books and so much, good, so many good things have come out of the quantum physics and the fact that love is energy and that I'm going to meet the universe and I'm really excited about it and I'm not afraid so I just want to say hello and goodbye <laughs> <laughs> and, and keep coming back keep going wait, wait, wait. wait just a sec hi I'm Sherry okay 
Most of you know me, maybe not everybody, but I've been here a while and I've grown so much through Unity. And it, it, you just touched my heart. And I want to particularly thank people like Annie and Alan and Scotty and Marion and Vi and Rob and, and Jill and Jackie and David and John <laughs> and Jill. <laughs> Uh, there's just I, I, I can go I can just can go right down here and just pick out people so they're family to me and of course to David and Catherine and um, oh and there's Ted to Ted too <laughs> <laughs> um, and to John and to Linda uh, and the, I could just almost include the whole congregation here because every one of them has touched my heart and you mean so much to me and to Tyler and, and, and to Lisa. So thank you for your friendship and your love. It, it means more than you know. Thank you. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. You're next. <laughs> my name's Lisa. Um, and I'm very grateful for my friend Leslie and the opportunity to be with her in this past year as she was making her transition and uh, very blessed by the experience and um, by her friendship. And I'm grateful for all of my challenges and all of our challenges and the opportunity for growth. Hello everyone. My name is Xavier and I'm so grateful that to know that I'm not alone, to know that I was never alone and that I will never be alone. And that God is with me today in New York. So I'm so grateful for that, to know that. Yeah. Okay. My name is David. Hello. Yeah. My name is David. About three years ago, I took uh, on an art student, my only art student that uh, I've ever instructed and uh, this young man taught me patience, acceptance. We'd get together Tuesday afternoons from two to four. Sometimes he'd show up at three. <laughs> and he was always on time. <laughs> <laughs> I just got there early. Mario, thank you. <laughs> I love you, man. That was a hard act to follow. <laughs> Turn it off. Um, I'm grateful for all the love that comes into my life um, from my husband, my kids, my grandkids, my community, my friends. I'm grateful. We've been traveling the last seven years, and every time we come back here, like the same love just comes out at me, and it just amazes me that I can be gone for a few months and. Everybody still loves me. <laughs> um, and I'm grateful the trees were so happy today. It brought tears to my eyes. I mean, it was, it was just neat. So, thank you. opened my heart more than anything else in that meditation that is so powerful no matter what the circumstances or the day that it is or who you're with or what you're doing is the little phrase, I wish to grow. I wish to grow. So I invite you to join me in whatever form of meditation you enjoy to bring that into your heart and sit with it. I wish to go. Hello, I'm Marilyn. I'm very grateful for Unity. It was um, Christmas Eve in 1997. My car had been taken out of the Pleasant Hill BART station. It was raining. I was on my way to my sister, so I was walking down Gary Road with my suitcase and I came to the door of Unity and they were having their candlelight service. And it was, 
It was just meant to be. I just walked right in, sat right down, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> and I have um, been grateful for being activity director here in 1999 and um, meeting so many people, learning and growing with all of you. And I want to thank the heart ministry when I did have cancer and in my darkest hour, they were there for me. They came to the hospital, they attended to my needs, they followed up with me. I came out of the darkest night of my soul and I'm thriving now. I'm a healer and I'm um, celebrating life with all of you. Thank you so much. Hope, and I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I have been here for quite a long time. And I'm amazed when I look back at what I've learned. We all think we're fine the way we are, but then when you look back a couple of years later, like maybe 22 years later since I came here, um, I'm very grateful to Unity and to David for the opportunities you've given me to create and express and learn more about who I am. And if you like this year, wait till next year's volunteer celebration. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hi. I'm Jody, and I want to thank my dear friend, Donna, for bringing me here today. I haven't been to Unity since the 80s, and I just want to say it has been a beautiful morning, and it's a great way to start a Sunday, and I'm sure I'll be returning. <laughs> and one thing I'm going to add here that I've been watching and hearing and seeing, all this gratitude that's flowing out for the other, for that which is outside ourselves, it wouldn't be here if it was all inside each and every one of you. That gratitude and that feeling is you, that what you're expressing. So thank you for that. My name is Cecilia, and I want to express my gratitude not only for Unity, uh, the wonderful people that I've met since I joined Unity a few years ago, and who kept bringing me back, but I want to say a special thank you for my wonderful wife, Debbie, who prods me on, challenges me, makes me grow, and is the light of my life. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. So take that, take that beautiful feeling, that, that feeling within our hearts, the feeling that you felt expressed from the folks that had the opportunity to share, that gratitude, that deep, beautiful, radiant gratitude within our hearts. And, and I invite you to not only hold it this moment, but let it be all through this week. As you, as you get to see those beautiful people in your life that mean so much, I am grateful. As you get to drive down the freeway and everybody around you stop and you've got to stop your car, just a gratitude moment. Just look at all those cars. I am grateful. I am grateful. You're on this road of life with me. I am grateful. I am grateful. Join me. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. And remember, when you look in that mirror, that person that you're looking at is a magnificent child of God. For getting to be that person together. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. And to, to this presence that is in each of us, expressing as each of us, blessing us in every imaginable way, and some we hadn't even imagined when they happened. And that's always the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Together. I am, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. Thank 
First of all, all you heart first group folks and heart math group folks, two o'clock this afternoon, right here. And anybody that wants to join in with any of those, uh, yeah, we got, we got something going. Okay, this holiday season, there is a tremendous quality that if we consciously embrace it, it really adds to our experience. And, th and that is that for many of us, there are people who are no longer a part of our lives that are very dear to our hearts. Okay, for many of us, that is someone who has made their transition. Sometimes it's that person that is no longer in relationship to us that we grieve the loss of that relationship. Sometimes it is the major change, the career that is not ours, or something which, which has taken place, that we are in the experience of loss. And when we, when we enter into the holiday season and we really open our feelings to touch the beauty and the celebration, often the importance of being able to acknowledge that person is very meaningful to us. So we have two events coming up. Uh, next Sunday is uh, our Grief Basics with Beth, who sang that beautiful song for us, is going to be uh, leading that as she does for us. And it's a chance to really come together in a, an experience of support through that grieving process and uh, honor, honor that part of our life experience. And then... Uh, week from Tuesday is our remembrance service. 
It's time where we really get to consciously honor those people who are no longer a part, a physical part, but are certainly an, an emotional part of our uh, holiday celebration. So we invite people to come to that, to bring, bring a picture, uh, bring, a, bring a story, and we will light candles for each one of those people and honor them as a part of this holiday season. Two, two important, special experiences. And then because we really take having fun seriously at Unity. Okay, we've got to do a Christmas party. And we have wonderful people who are planning it for us. And the information on it is in, is in your uh, bulletins. And tickets are going to be probably not on the patio. It's a little damp there. Uh, so they'll be back in the bookstore for that. Wonderful things uh, coming up. So I want to invite you to take and let's, let's take our gratitude experience into another way. Uh, if you'd pull out your uh, uh, connection cards uh, on the clipboard there in the seat pocket in front of you. So often when, when we fill out our, our connection cards, we, we are putting there, we're putting our prayer requests there. And, and we're asking for prayer for those who are in need. And that's a wonderful thing to be able to do. And I would invite you to add to that people who you would simply like to be blessed. People who you want to express your gratitude for and focus the beautiful prayer power of this spiritual community in sending a blessing of love to them, adding those, those, uh, those names to ones that we might, uh, might regularly put on there. So one of the most exquisite experiences, and it remains for me a true delight in my life, is ability to express gratitude through giving. And that acknowledgement of the source of all our good that we do in, in giving our offerings and our tithes, and really feeling that gratitude for that. We're already giving from that which has been given to us, the care that has already come to us, the abundance that already has come to us. So I invite you to take your gift in your hand, just enfold it in your heart, and let's share our blessing together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. We are so grateful.
don't know how you keep on giving for your kindness I'm in debt to you and I never could have come this far without you for everything you've done you know I'm bound I'm bound to thank you for it na 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 I want to thank you for so many gifts you gave with love and tenderness I want to thank you I want to thank you for your generosity, the love and the honesty that you gave me. I want to thank you, show my gratitude, my love and my respect for you. I want to thank you. Oh, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, 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 children, 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 thank you, children. 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 Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, children. Thank you, children. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, children. Thank you, children. Thank you, children. Thank you, thank you. 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 Woo! Thank you! So let's take hands and share together our prayer of protection. Together, the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And our peace song. <laughs> are the love 
and the light and the peace in the earth right now. So let it shine and have fun. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you.